On top of this whole thing, I'm gonna put just a little bit more Parmesan. And it is not a cooking show unless you use a torch. Oh. Ah! Hello and welcome to the Mystery Box Cooking Challenge. The show where I open up a mysterious ingredient that I know nothing about. Oh. Then I must cook three dishes that will be judged based on appearance, creativity, and most importantly, taste. Hmm? The only problem is, I can only use ingredients found right here in my kitchen. Mayo, pickle, pre-minced stuff? This one's just for me. Helps me think. Today, our eater and judge is best ever food review show producer, Me Quinn. Me, you need to be nice, please. It's my first time. Be gentle on me. Hi everyone, my name is Me and I'm uh, the eater today. To see Sonny fail. I saw him making the devil eggs before and it tastes pretty good. Eating some weird combination because he's a weirdo, who knows? So let's see, let's see what he come up with. Today's mystery box has been sponsored by Sky Garden. You might remember a couple of videos we've shot in the past with Sky Garden eating gigantic lobsters. He's really there you go. Sorry, buddy. Oh, oh my god. Oh, five way five. <laughs> Look at that. It's bigger than your hand. It's that bigger than my nuts. face. My buddy and Sky Garden owner Lon, he has given me a box. When I look at the box, it's unclear exactly what it might be. If I look for some clues, oh, it says V-E seafood. Hmm. Oh, it's live seafood. This box has been here for about one hour. I don't hear anything inside that's alive. Maybe it died on the way here. I don't know. My guess is seafood, maybe a uh, crab. The only thing to do from here is to reveal the secret ingredient so I can get to cooking. Sorry if there's something in there. Undoing the bow, very nice presentation. Opening it up. Yay! Oh, there's two lobsters in here. Holy shit. They got little bracelets on like they just came out the club. Yay! Jeepers. It's alive, it looks friendly. It's my first episode and I have to kill an animal. Usually we have someone else do that. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. No. No, 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 no. Why? Hey guys, I'm back. Just did a little breathing exercise. Everything's fine. So, the most basic, obvious thing to do would be to just steam it and eat it with butter. But I mean, come on, what kind of show would that be? I'm gonna try to flex a little creativity. I've got some ideas. But first we have to get the lobster ready. And that means steaming. And to steam it, we gotta kill it. I happen to have... <laughs> People are gonna think this is fake. I happen to have a hot pot of water. Through the magic of editing, it's already been boiling for a long time. Now, back in the day, people used to just throw the whole lobster in there and it would cook to death. These days, people like to be more uh, humane. And so apparently the nice thing to do to a lobster, because there's now nice ways to kill things, the nice way to kill a lobster is by driving a blade right here between its eyes. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. One, two, three. Good. Cut the bands off, throw them in the steamer. He is dead now. And then put the lid on the steamer, put this on here. Um, Easy. Listen, you just had to have a professional attitude about it and it's not that big of a deal. Jesus, it looks like a crime scene here. Twenty-five minutes has gone by. Let's check it out. Let's open it up. Pull her out and... It was done. Lobster, probably cooked all the way. We're gonna start taking this guy apart. First, arm bar. Just, oh, that came out pretty easy. Other arm. And then here, the most prized part of any lobster, the tail. Just give it a little bit of a crack and a twist. And look at that, tail looks awesome. First thing I want is this meat inside here. I have a series of clubs here. Wow. 
It's just crazy to think this is exactly how Gordon Ramsay prepares a lobster. Nuts, we have a lot in common, me and him. Here we have the entire claw intact. In the claw, there's a giant piece of cartilage that kind of splits it in half. So open it up just like that, remove the cartilage, and that is freaking beautiful. Take a look. I did it. Dish number one is gonna be a type of fresh lobster spring roll. We've got the spring roll paper right here. What else can we put in here? All right, we've got some lettuce. Holy crap, I've got a bag of vermicelli noodles right here. This is perfect. Pork, sausage, dill, scallions. So, what does a spring roll absolutely have to have? Some kind of filling. Then you need the meat, we've got some pork, Instead of shrimp, we can use our lobster claw here, and then we'll just throw in some herbs to make it nice and call it good. Let's try it. Rice paper, a little bit of lettuce, some vermicelli. No, did I fuck this up already? And then throw it in the trash. Start again. We want to lead with the claw. Build on top of that so we see the claw. A little bit of verm, a little bit of chive, and then a little bit of sausage. And we close this bitch up. Boom. Not bad? I'm gonna find out soon, on the side. All right, I'm gonna melt a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic, and even put in a little bit of heat. All right, it's gonna hit the microwave. Little bit of lemon with our butter sauce. All right, that's gonna make it a little fresher. Bum, 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 bum. Course one, finito. Time to eat. Welcome to your first course, lobster claw spring roll. Did you wash your hand before you make this? No. So the lobster meat is just very eye-catching. When I first see it, I immediately see the meat. This is not a, a regular ingredient in a Vietnamese spring roll. So for this appearance, I give it seven out of 10. Yeah, cause he's trying. I think Sunny did a good job with the creativity with this dish because lobster is a Western seafood, but he made it into a Vietnamese street food with all the ingredients that he had in his fridge. So I will give him eight out of 10. Let's give it a try. Dip, dip, dip. Does it sound like Sunny? Mm -mm. Uh. Mm hmm. 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 It's pretty good. No, I'm just kidding. It's freaking salty. It's like a punch in my mouth. Like, I think if the sauce is less salty, it's gonna be better. So with the taste, I give it six out of 10. Sorry, Sunny. This idea is bullshit. I take it back. I don't want to do this anymore. Did you guys see how mean she was? I don't think she gets the concept of the show. The concept is there was a lobster and then I made it into a thing. 10 points. Ugh. I'm feeling a little disheartened, but also motivated. I need to get back into the game. I need to bring something better, more harder, core, something that's really gonna speak to our palate. After looking around the pantry, I think we have enough ingredients to make a lobster cake, like a crab cake, but with lobster. We've got butter, scallion, green plant, green plant, lemon, three eggs, and then of course, we need meat. This is gonna be lobster. We're gonna chop the heck out of it and just have big old pieces of lobster claw and lobster tail inside. My plan to win her back now is to use a fried dish. Everyone likes fried food, especially me. Myself, not my fucking producer, whose name is also me. We have a crap load of prime lobster. If I F this up, I don't deserve to ever step foot in a kitchen again. Hopefully I don't mess it up. I've got my lobster here. I'm gonna throw in some of these nice fresh ingredients. Close up. Bit of salted butter, scallions, parsley, but just a little bit because parsley is dumb. Dill, but not too much because it's awesome and powerful. A little bit of lemon zest as well as a lemon squeeze Some nice garlic, egg, and one more egg. Next. For a crab cake, uh, I need panko breadcrumbs or something, but I don't have that. But I do have crackers. So I'm gonna crush these into here until we make a nice little cake. And then we're gonna just give that a mix. So this has become a bit of a mush, but it's a malleable, formable mush. I'm gonna make that into little balls. Traditionally with your cake, what you're gonna wanna do is bake it and then fry it. We don't have time for all that. So I'm just gonna make these cakes smaller. You see, it's like a chicken testicle size. I'm gonna put it in these crumbs here and then I'm gonna throw it in. Here we go. 
is doing something. I think it's working. I think we're doing it, guys. So I'm gonna make about five or six more of these. Try it out. Fucking murdered it. That's delicious. Oh yes, that just needs some sauce, but that's perfect. Okay, I know the second course is good. I'm gonna make a simple sauce that nobody could ever complain about. Hopefully. All right, we're going ultra simple. Just dill and mayo. First thing is we got the dill. Just like our weed, we don't want too many sticks and stems. Pick that shit out. Okay, dill. Squeeze in some mayo. Give it a forking. See how it tastes. Mm-hmm. For me, that's very nice. Sauce is ready. I just got to plate it up and serve it. And here's course two. Ooh Enjoy, bon appetit. Wow, I'm a fry food fan. Good job, Sunny. Look at this. Would you like a piece? To me, I think it's, it, it looked pretty eye-catching. It looked brilliant on the camera. And so I give the appearance a score 8.5 out of 10. I found a crab cake recipe on the internet. Sunny, is it kind of cheating? No, it's, mine's unique. Okay, Mine uses that. lobster. <laughs> Then I'll give the creativity a score of seven. Let's give it a try. This is awesome. I really like it. So he called this lobster cake. I cannot taste the lobster meat, but in general, like it comes very well together. So I'll give this a score nine out of 10. The reason why I give it the nine because like the taste of the lobster is not very obvious to me. So I think you can try to do it in the next round. So far, I see it like I'm one and one. The first dish, big fat zero. I shouldn't try to make Vietnamese food in Vietnam. Dish two, success. We're heading in the right direction. I just need to smash it with dish number three. So what I'm thinking is something like a cream pasta with plenty of lobster meat. Everyone knows the best friend of seafood is the pig. I'm gonna fry up a couple of these bacons here. It's almost like, you know, salt brings out the flavor of sugar. Pork brings out the flavor of seafood. All right, let's get that going. The next move, I'm gonna start on my cream sauce. Starting with some butter. Along with the butter, we're gonna put a little bit of milk. Next, cream cheese. And then we put in some minced garlic, minced parsley, and finally, some Parmesan cheese. It's almost more of a cheese sauce, it's very thick. Now, I did not wanna mess around anymore with the lobster. She said she didn't quite taste it before. I'm putting in big chunks of lobster tail into this one. It will be undeniable. So, before I do that, I'm gonna put in the bacon, and then finally, putting in these huge chunks of lobster. This sauce is almost ready to go. The only thing I'm missing is uh, pasta. I don't actually have any real pasta. What I do have is ramen noodles. It's gonna be a very premium ramen noodle. It's gotta be a 10 out of 10, right? Right now, smothering the noodles, getting them nice and saturated. Lights. I need a bucket of beer and someone to fight. Don't call yourself country if your music is shitty. Or does Carolina boy will take you down to Fifth City? And it is not a cooking show unless you use a torch. Oh my god! Oh. Ah! Am I using it right? Yeah. Yeah, Erwin Yusoff. Other people know how to be cool too. Ah! Yes. <laughs> Holy shit, don't ever let me use that again. Okay, sprig of fresh parsley on the side, and that. Dish three, ready to eat, let's go. And dish three. Oh wow, look at this. Have you ever eaten a pasta dish with the whole lobster tail like this? I feel fancy already. I will score this 8.5 again for the appearance. The color of the dishes go very well with each other. It's made the dish look pretty cute. And I can't wait to dig into it. Wait! <laughs> Sunny? This is not pasta! This is fucking ramen! Sounds pretty creative to me. <laughs> Let's just give it a try then. Oh, well, it turned out really good. 
I mean, the type of the noodles doesn't change the taste of the dish or the texture. He's right about the bacon. It's bringing out the seafood taste and it's making it even stronger. Okay, so for the taste, I give him the score of 9.5 out of 10. Congratulations, Sonny! You did it! And finally, for the creativity, I think I can give him a score of like 9.7. I have never had ramen this way before, so I think he did a great job combining all the ingredients he had in his kitchen, and uh, I really enjoyed the dish. At first, I didn't think Sonny can cook, but then um, at the end, he won me over. He prepared the full meal from the appetizer to the main course, so I think that he has the potential to be a chef. At least a Fake YouTube chef. Thank you to Sky Garden, the largest high-end seafood supplier in Saigon, now offering fresh delivery straight to your door. Call Sky Garden to place your order and treat yourself to the best lobster, king crab, and other seafood. Hey guys, want to contribute to a great cause and at the same time cause me great pain? Now's your chance. Let me explain. On May 16th, I will be taking on a one-man, all-day coronathon. For every dollar donated to our GoFundMe, I will row 5 meters, or 16 feet. Best Ever Food Review Show is throwing in the first $5,000, but our goal is to raise $20,000. $20,000 means me rowing 100 kilometers. That's 62 miles. That's like rowing two marathons, then rowing another 10 miles for no reason. That's like rowing from Earth to outer space, a distance that'll likely take 10 to 12 hours to complete. If we raise more money, I'll keep on rowing. It's gonna suck, but it's for a good cause. 100% of the money raised will go to four local Vietnamese charities who are helping folks affected by the COVID-19 outbreak. So give some money, watch me suffer, and feel good about yourself at the same time. Donate now at our GoFundMe link below. Water break. Lobster, three ways. We did it. What'd you think? Which one would you most want to try? Or which one would you throw immediately in the garbage? Let me know in the comments down below. Remember, this is not a cooking show. This is, uh, what is this? This is a uh, me struggling in the kitchen for your entertainment show. Thank you so much, guys. We will see you next time. A peace. Oh God, I really, more than ever, need one of these.